Hey, how's it going? Dylan here. Today I'm going to be chatting to you about Sicario 2, Day of the Soldado. So Sicario, the first movie in this series, directed by Denny Villeneuve and written by Taylor Sheridan and also obviously cinematography by Roger Deakins. It's one of my absolute favourite films of all time. It's a fantastic study of tension and actual perfection in terms of cinematography, cinematic and just everything. It's just such a good film. Really love that film. I can watch it over and over again. When I first saw the trailers for this second film, Sicario to Day of the Soldado, which is still written by Taylor Sheridan, uh, but directed by Stefano Salima, which is, I believe this is his first English language film that he's released, I didn't have much hope in it. When I saw the trailer, I thought it was edited kind of sloppy, the, the first trailer at least, and it didn't really look like it had the visual pizzazz of the first or really something I really wanted to see, per se. As it got closer to the release date though, I kind of wanted to see it a little bit more. I thought, why not? I'll, I'll go see it. I got the chance, thanks, thanks so much to Event Cinemas uh, Marion, which is my local cinema, who I've kind of got a slight deal with, so it's, they kind of give me, let me go to these things um, during the week. They're obviously the biggest um, cinema in the Southern Hemisphere, so they've like 26 screens or so really good place. They gave me the chance to go see this uh, in a screening on Thursday that just passed. Unfortunately I didn't get to film this until the weekend because of still being slightly sick and kids and tiredness etc work blah blah blah. Anyway let's get to it. So Sicario 2 Devs the Soldado kind of continues the story of two of the characters from the first film uh, that kind of centers more on uh, Benicio Del Toro's character uh, who is, you know, as you found in the first film, I guess spoilers for the first film, that his family had been killed by the cartel, uh, and that's why uh, basically um, Josh Brolin's character kind of like groomed him into a kind of killing machine uh, to help him in his war against the drug cartels, basically. So in the second one we find that they kind of mix in a uh, more terrorism aspect to it as well, in the, the fact that um, the drug cartels are kind of smug, helping terrorists get into Mexico and then cross the border to the US. Uh, the film's first act isn't perfect. Um, I thought that it had a little bit of a lot of exposition, things like that. But it does. The first act does have some really, particularly one scene is quite brutal. It involves a terrorist attack of some kind and does what I really like these films to do in the fact that the camera kind of just lingers. It sits there and takes its time to show something and I think that particular scene, which you'll probably know if you've seen the film, works incredibly well and uh, kind of surprised me right off the bat. Like the film, the first few scenes, like I was like, oh yeah, it's kind of alright, but the, this particular scene uh, had me stop eating while I was at whatever I was eating in the cinema and uh, I was just like kind of taken aback. Um, it was just quite confronting. Uh, not necessarily gory but um, in a violent way but just very raw I guess you could say the way it kind of comes out and I did enjoy that scene a lot. Like it was well crafted and the camera work was actually really well done. So the basic setup, obviously, is, as I said, they're smuggling terrorists into the US and that gives the US more powers because they will consider drug cartels to be terrorism, like a part of terrorism. So uh, they want to go in and start a war and basically make the drug cartels fight each other. That's the basic setup. Uh, the film obviously involves a lot of kind of grey area stuff. The two characters that this film follows from the first film, obviously the first film had Emily Blunt as well as like kind of the moral center of the story, uh, whereas this time we just have Josh Brolin's character, Benicio Del Toro's, and a young actress as well, uh, kind of caught in the crossfire. The film as a whole I did enjoy, and I thought that it definitely didn't reach the heights of the first one, That particularly that border crossing scene uh, in the first film was one of my favorite scenes of all time, also the ending to the first one is also very good, and this film tries to get there, you can tell they want to do that. Uh, it doesn't get there in the end, but there are quite a few, I think about three different sequences in this film that still manage to build really efficient tension. That first scene I talked about 
In the middle act, there's also a scene that um, kind of builds a, quite a bit of tension. And in the final act, there is also another one as well, which I actually thought they were going for a uber, uber bleak ending there for a few minutes. And I think everyone in my audience did as well. Yeah, you'll have to watch it to kind of find out what I'm talking about, but I'm trying to be intentionally kind of vague. It's well made. Uh, doesn't have the visuals of Deacons, obviously, and the directing of Villeneuve, but this new director that I haven't seen any of the other films um, before, uh, he did a good job. The action's well directed, blockbustery. It's very procedural and cold. I'm definitely going to be picking up this film on Blu-ray or Ultra HD, whatever it comes out of when it comes out. Definitely one for the collection, and. Definitely go see this if you're a fan of the first one, or if you're a fan of kind of dark, um, dark thrillers, uh, and like just a solid entry from middle of a franchise. So hopefully we'll see the third one as well. I'm not sure who's going to be directing it. I think the director of this one said he's not going to be doing the third one today in an article that I read. So um, we'll see what happens. But hopefully Tyler Sheridan's on board to write the last one because the script is pretty decent, and I'm really enjoying all of Tyler Sheridan's work really recently. I'm going to be giving Sicario 2 Day of the Soldado a 7.5 out of 10. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed my review of Sicario 2. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. And don't forget to hit that bell button to be notified of new uploads when they get published. I'm going to be doing about a video every day for the next week to catch up for all the weeks I missed from being sick and out of time, etc. Tired from kids, as you do. But I'm going to try and push through that and get these out. I've already edited a bunch of them, so look forward to that. Hit me up on Twitter and in the comment section, let me know what you thought of the film, what films you think I should go see, and abuse me for not seeing films that are really good, that came out like a year ago, as people do on Twitter all the time. Follow me on the links below, and as always, till next time, take care.